Lacey. Lacey put me. Lacey put me in the top bunk. This was Atlanta. We have bunk beds. Ninety six. Ninety six. We have bunk beds, and Lacey. I was like, dang, but like, if I fall, you gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you go. You go die. And then they gave me a curfew. And they would come in, I had to be in my room every night by 11, and they would come check on me. Like, <laughs> And then I guess there was one night, apparently, I went out. I didn't think I did, but apparently, I, I, think I, did. apparently, apparently I did. And they like got mad at Connie. They were like, you lost her. You, you good? You were like sixteen. I was nineteen. Now, I was okay, old okay. now, I know but you was young. yeah, was young. like you let her go. We told you she was supposed to leave the building. Cause I, was like, I can't keep an eye on her. But you know, I was out with them damn UCLA throwers. It wasn't my fault. That was the leader out house and him. She said it was not my <laughs> fault. I didn't even have that idea. I didn't even have that idea. Okay. So, so yeah. No. But anyway, Aretha. <laughs> She has definitely was a mentor and a friend, and I absolutely love her and her man child because <laughs> baby Theo is like this tall on, on her. Well, at least on me, she's a little bit taller than me. So he he's a grown he's a grown man and he's only nine or, or eleven. Well, is he, he just thirteen. Ten. <laughs> he just thirteen. And she still got to feed him. I sold her. I'll, I'll chip in every now and again. <laughs> I'll send a couple of dollars over there. Hey, you know. feed the baby. But listen, I'll, I'll um, put down on the Costco card. Just, right, just right. buy in bulk. Just, just, just buy in bulk. bulk. You know, we get Costco <laughs> once a week. So I think, Amber, when you come back, can you see if we both are in the frame? I think we are. Are we in the frame? Is this the background? Yes, but you your head is still cut off. You sit tall. I can sit tall, too. All these thighs and stuff. I can sit tall if you need me to. I don't spread. Because I'm like, she said, I don't spread. She's like, I just build up. You know what? I'm just gonna hold it because it's not gonna whack right. All right. Okay. So, I have a special guest. <laughs> Before there was Mama Michelle, there was Mama Aretha, and <laughs> so like when okay when I first when I first made my major team like. When I came through the door with all my stuff, the first person that told me, oh, baby girl, this is not going to work. Like, you got way too much stuff. I'm like, well, you have to have your uniform. You have to have all your clothes. Like, what you going to wear outside? She was like, you don't need all that. I'm like, girl, y'all don't know me. But then, after a while, I was like, you right, I don't need all that. Mm -mm. So you could tell them that story real quick. Yeah, so, so, so the story is, I walk into her room, and I was confused because I was like, Michelle, didn't your roommate check out? So oh, yeah, my room like I was like, whose stuff is this? Because this is like four people's <laughs> worth of stuff in here. And she said, oh yeah, it's all mine. So then we went through it. And I was like, okay, well, let's talk about international travel and bare necessities. You got your nice outfit, your casual outfit, your training clothes, comp clothes, with that. And I was like, that's not enough clothes. And she was like, yeah, there's this thing you do called laundry. And I was like, oh man. I didn't know that. Like, when I tell you, I packed my whole, whole life. I yeah. had one bag full of USA stuff, right, and then yeah. I had a whole other bag full right, of regular yeah. stuff. You left there with like three or four bags. And then we got stuff when we got there, yep. and then I was just like, this is, I can't, I can't. Because I'm sweating trying to get to the airport, pulling all my bags, and that's not cute. So it was definitely a learning experience. You and, know, those are the little things we can share, right? Each generation, we pick up some some good travel habits, yes. uh, some good mentoring tips to pass to that next generation. So now, when you see these kids out here with yep. way too much luggage, you'd be like, I'd be like, like hey, like some of them, like people who may carry like their protein shakes, they be they bring like the whole tub. I'm like, you don't need that. Get the small snack bags, you know, and you put your scoop in there so you have one for all the days you're gonna be there. And that opens up a whole bunch of things because you know the protein things like so big but they're only half full of powder. Right. I still don't understand they're that method. Powder. Like how I'm about this whole big old tub and it's only halfway full. They need no powder in there. They need to fill it up. Like <laughs> what I'm paying up for all this extra plastic and it's in right. It's just, it's just it's plastic. Air. It's air. You're paying for air. But yeah. It's kind of interesting. We might be doing a little whole thing on that one right? time, huh? <laughs> Look inside my protein. <laughs> what I'm paying for. What I'm paying but, for. <laughs> But anyway, it's sponsored so, by Garden of Life. Yes. <laughs> so, Aretha, tell um, how long did you throw this case? 
Whew, 21 years? Yeah. Well, I started when I was 14 and retired at 36. Yeah, that's a long time. That's a long time. I'm already at 20. See? Yeah, I'm already at 20. So, God, so when did you start? I was in seventh grade. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you about thirteen? I think you're a little bit younger. I, I don't know. Yeah, I was in seventh grade. Yeah. So you was like twelve or thirteen, something around there. And you all the way grown now? Yes. Yeah. So you come up on twenty years. Twenty years. Putting the shot. Yes. Throwing this ball and some That's dirt. what I'm talking about. So let me tell you something about Aretha. How close she was though. Aretha got pregnant. You know, she was married. She married. You know, she married, and she got pregnant. And then six weeks later, have a little newborn at the track, and she out there throwing. Was it even six though? He was seventeen days old. Yeah. Yeah. See what had happened was. And you ain't supposed to be doing nothing. You got six weeks to chill, and she out there competing. At yeah. Nationals, though. At Nationals. That was in 2007. Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah, I was mad, too, because I got fifth. She was mad. She was like, I was like, hi, Aretha. And she was like, yeah, it was a rough day. I'm like, but you, you got a whole baby. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It was fun. I mean, you know, it was a fun challenge, though, right? Because, like, I trained literally the whole pregnancy. Like, I still lifted. I still threw. I still ran. So I felt like... She went into labor. And was at the track trying to throw some discuses around yeah, to yeah. make this baby hurry up. Yeah, so I just kind of figured, well, then, you know, now that he's out, it should be easier. Because now the belly's gone. So I thought. But the insides. The gone. insides and your hips <laughs> and your ligaments, everything still ain't quite right. And I would tell you, I would recommend that. It might have been a little sore after that. Places well, I didn't know could a little get bit. sore. That's, that's, but, that's, that's but it was worth the try. And uh, it was fun. I literally, we went to call with the warm up track, nursed him real quick so my boobs wasn't too full. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, all right, I got about a good two hour window. And they're going to fill back up. So let's get this competition on because the baby got to eat. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm going to say that this is saying that now I know if I, you know, get pregnant and have a baby, I can come back. It's you can come possible. back. Yeah. I'm not going to come back in 17 days, no. but I know I'm away, but it's possible. Yeah, give yourself more time. I yeah. recommend take the whole month. <laughs> if yeah. the doctor suggests six weeks, I suggest <laughs> what the doctor says you do. Until they clear you, let's get that straight. I know we see the superwoman over here, but you know. <laughs> I just knew how crazy I was. You know, I realize that now. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, after it's all little throw, little throw. Yeah. But it's okay. Is there a reward on some of these? Huh? Is there a reward? I mean, if I, yeah, I'm, if I I'm keep like, fighting them, what's. <laughs> There's like, another one. Some, you know, <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah, so your mom was dealing with some health issues, so yep. you wanted to get everybody healthy. So yep. tell us about your new healthy regime and what you decide not to eat today because I know it, it does it does change so first what we did as a family is we gave up sugar right and so um that just being no added sugar right and so it is interesting because now it's actually hard to enjoy a dessert because it it's too sweet it's too sweet yeah, yeah. Um, and fruits are amazing now, like where, you know, before the fruit was, mm, but, so we kind of started with that and made some adjustments. So basically in a, in a nutshell now, um, I basically eat vegetables, fruit, and meat. I haven't given up meat. I still like my protein. Um, but then I did let go of bread because bread was not my friend. So, um, so I had to, I had to let go of bread. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, just trying to eat clean, clean meat, clean vegetables, you know, organic, seasonal, farm to table, farmer's market, yeah. juices, smoothies. Yeah, she was on that, that the, the smoothie queen for a hey, minute. She was man. like, I got my smoothie, I'm good. I'm, hey. I'm like, don't you need more than this? I need a smoothie and something. Like, I need <laughs> and a smoothie and not just a smoothie. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but no, I, I definitely... Um, Dealing with health issues myself with my thyroid and just now I'm getting older and nutrition has become more important So just making those adjustments is, is also um, Hard, but it's going to be necessary. It's yep. so and you'll find that in the beginning it is hard But you got to do it a little bit at a time like it can't all be <laughs> one time What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> 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 
Bus ride coming right. back to the track where they like, hey, it's going to happen. Uh uh. <laughs> Amber, just wake me up when we get there. Right. Let's put these in the outtake. Yeah, these are. I know these would be like other like funny moments. Yeah, the funny moments. Lounge Label bloopers. Shenanigans. <laughs> Lounge bloopers. Club <laughs> Team USA. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was just like. <laughs> oh, I'm messed. Okay, so. Yeah. The next question. Yeah. Okay, also what y'all don't know is the person who encouraged me to go get um, makeup classes to do makeup on other people was this one right here. Like I would just do makeup on people just because I'm doing her makeup one day at the Olympic Village in 2008. She was like, Michelle, you know you can get paid to do this on other people. I was like, you sure last right. Like, <laughs> like I didn't even think about that. Like I was doing it because I like to do it. And so I went home in 2008 and I started taking classes so I could learn how to do it on other people. So let me tell you about Aretha. She don't really do makeup, but she let me do her makeup. And she let me go like, all the way outside the box for her. But then I had to like reel it back in and keep her natural because she's like a natural beauty. She was like, I just want a little bit here, a little sparkle there, and that's all I want. And some gloss. Like yes. that's her. Yes. <laughs> but so anyways, yes. so tell us <laughs> what's in your barely used makeup bag. So, because that is a good way to put it. Um, so as I also have been making the transition, right, from not being an athlete to, you know, just kind of everyday professional. Oh, yeah, and she got, she got a job. She got a job. Yeah, yeah. Job. right, got a real job. So there's some moments where, you know, I got to, you know, maybe dress things up a little bit. So I do have my little kit. Yeah. So in my kit, you know, I got my bronzer, mm -hmm. a nice bronzer brush, because I don't like a heavy foundation, just mm -hmm. my skin can't breathe. So I do a little bronzer. I usually do a little shadow, um, some mascara, and some lips. That's it. That's, 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 it, it is it. <laughs> And that's it. That is, uh, it, it, that it, is, it. is me doing But she, she, she picked some good neutrals. Yep. And she picked, like, good lip colors. So I give her that. She picked good colors. So it's always, you know. But if you on a trip with me, you don't know I'm already I'm just signing it, up. Exactly. I'm already getting an appointment. There's certain people who's going to be on my list. Amber be on my list. Yeah. Uh, Aretha's on my list. And then every now and again, I get somebody new. So it's, it's always fun. I like, like I love playing that stuff. So yeah. Yeah. I like playing in it too. I don't think I really have the patience though yeah. for like that daily I'm a girl all the way live. Yeah. So then I no. figured I better just be honest with myself. Yeah. And just be like, this is all I can do. I understand because you know, since I've been here since we have to do stuff and I have to like do interviews and people's I have put a little bit more effort because I'm out here but I don't wear makeup every day. Right. I, you see me on a Tuesday, I look real regular. But then, you know, on a day I have to do something, on a special Tuesday, I'm gonna look like, you, you look know, like, yep. I'll, I'll give it up for you. But, yeah. That's why I cut my hair. Which I love her new haircut, by the way. As I was like, if I'm gonna be out here with all this traveling and trying to, like. And she don't do hair. Be, <laughs> right? <laughs> Because you know when you're trying to be, and I, and, you know, I say this because we 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 honest on camera. But when you're trying to be a, a, a black woman a professional, like it is really tough to know what is considered professional and what's not when yeah. it comes to our hair, right? And so as an athlete, you know, we do whatever we want. We yeah. get some braids, we get whatever, you know. And it's just like, but certain styles in the workplace could be perceived not as not professional. So it's really one of those debates. And so I, it took me a while to kind of like get the courage to do it. Yeah. Like, and then I did it and I was like really nervous for about six months. And then I was like, yes. Like, she is I'm free. I'm, I'm keeping it cut. Like, I don't know why I waited. I don't even know what I was thinking. Because um, then I just wash and go. You know? Yeah. I'm gonna so I hope we can hear ourselves on here because it is a little loud in here. I didn't even think about that. But um, Kim supported me in that. Yes. In the haircut and the hair color. Yeah. She did. I think she current she is. kind of punked my hairdresser like. <laughs> Yo. They told her, like, you know, Rita on her way in, and she needs to just put some color in yeah. there and ask her. And you know what? That's I'm so what they glad y'all there for her. I'm so <laughs> glad. We were probably going to let her go through this life. Like, yeah, she can't. We can't. 
you know? Because Aretha, she really low key, she really is tomboy ish. Like, for a while, hey, that's another story. Another story. Another story. Well, it, for some people, yeah. they don't know. So, I remember when we first got there, she was like, Michelle, where'd you get that? I'm like, it was in my kit. She said, I don't get that in my kit. I'm like, do you order the men's kit or the women's kit? She was like, oh, I ordered the men's kit. I'm like, I'm gonna need you to get some girl clothes. I got them now. She did them now, but she was straight up in the men's apartment. Because you know, for a while, they wouldn't make our size. That is very, very true. So it was like, I didn't even know we had more than a single X in the women's. And so yeah. then I was like, well, I guess I'll take a men's. Yeah. So. But shout out to Nike to the new plus size line. Come on, plus and that, size and that line. growing because we need big girls like to work out too. Right. You know, we got more cars in the average, but we want to keep our mindset right and tight. But, <laughs> right? but no, like, I, I'm really excited about that because um, for a long time, women would just ask me, like, where did you get your clothes or can I have the clothes off your back? Right. Because they don't see the cute Nike clothes in our size. But I'm grateful that they are now expanding what they have uh, available besides tennis shoes. Right. right. Because at first that's all you had. You'd be cute and then you got your little Nike tennis shoes but everything else is like no yeah. brand land, yeah. you know? But it's, it's all women are created beautiful and should be able to dress just as equally beautiful in everything, including workout clothes. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, I'm excited about that. But anyways, are we going to talk about you? Right, right. sit down with the shot diva vlog. I know, right? I'm trying to I'm trying to get my life together because one day I'm gonna be tired. Yes. And I need something to do. <laughs> so <laughs> Okay. I support that. Yeah, you know, hey. We'll see. But anyways, thank you so much. Thank you. And um yeah. Love you. <laughs> Look, love you too, girl. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>